Hello everyone! In my last video, I showed you how to make this interactive chart with a changing number of months. The trick was to link the chart to the spill range of one single formula. But this formula with the offset function just extracted the last rows without performing any calculation. And very often, you will need to aggregate data, perform calculations, and you will have separate spill ranges. So in this video, you will see two ways how to use this chart trick with aggregating functions and create interactive charts like this one. Here, the cells units are summed up for unique values of the table column which is chosen by the user. So let's see how this is done. As a first step, I'm going to convert this data range to a table by clicking in it and pressing Ctrl and T together. I need the table in order to use structured references in the formulas. So instead of cell references, I'm going to use the column names in the formulas to make them easier. For the chart categories, I'm going to use the function unique and reference a table column, for example, outlet. The function unique is going to deliver unique values from this column and it spills in Microsoft 365. The values, meaning sales units or sales value, have to be summed up for these categories. I'm going to use the SUMIF function. The range which has to match the criteria is the outlet column of the table. And the criteria are the outlets in the spill range of the function unique. So I will reference the cell H5, which contains the dynamic array function. And type a hash sign. This will make the SUMIF function also spill. The range to be summed up will be, for example, the sales units column and the whole formula spills. But now we have two spill ranges. So we need a formula to give back these categories and values as one spill range. And for this purpose, we can use the function choose. The function choose assigns values based on the index number. For example, number 1 will be the best, number 2 better, and number 3 just good. But if I place the index numbers in square brackets, separated by commas, then the three values will be put in three columns of a single spill range. And this is a feature that I'm going to use. So as my new formula, I will type the following. Start the formula with a choose function. The index numbers, 1 and 2, because I have categories and values, will be placed in square brackets separated by comma. As the first value, I will type the unique function, reference the outlet column, and as the second value, the sum if function, reference the outlet column, as criteria, I will type the function unique and reference the outlet column. And the cells units have to be summed up. 
we will get the same categories and values, but as one spill range. Now let's add the headers. and add a chart to the new spill range. I want the values to be sorted, so I will wrap this formula in the sort function and sort based on the second column, which are the values. Let's check the numbers. For example, for outlet 2, and they're correct. I want the chart to be interactive and switch between columns. So I'm going to make drop down lists for categories and values. Select a cell, and in the Data tab, under Data Tools, choose Data Validation. Allow criteria from list. And as the source, I will choose the headers of the columns. I will do the same for the values. To switch the table column references in the formulas, I will use the function indirect. The function indirect returns a reference specified by a text string. I will put table 1 and the first square bracket in quotation marks, concatenate it with an ampersand with cell L1, and concatenate this with an ampersand with the second square bracket also placed in quotation marks. I will perform the same procedure for the other table column references. So let me speed this up. I will also adjust the two spill ranges on the left. Now if I change the selection in the drop-down lists, the chart will get updated with the categories from the selected column. Did you notice that there were four outlets, but now there are five brands, and the chart expanded automatically? I can also display sales value instead of sales units. If I choose the year column instead of the brands, again there are only four entries, and the chart shrinks automatically without showing any redundant categories. Let's also make a dynamic chart title. For this, I will concatenate text with cell L1. a comma, and L2.
Select the title. Type an equal sign in the formula bar. And reference cell N1. If the previous formula does not work for you, then you can use an additional helper spill range. You will need a function that can extract data. I will use the offset function for this purpose. The starting point should be cell H5. The offset function should stay in the cell, so move away by zero rows and zero columns. The height or number of rows will be given back by the count A function which also counts text. The reference will be the whole spill range. And I need two columns. I will wrap this formula in the sort function. And sort by the second column. Let's add a chart to this new spill range. Link the chart title to cell N1, which contains the dynamic title. And test. As I showed in the first part of this video, the table columns are referenced dynamically in the spill ranges to the left using the indirect function and drop-down lists. This method of making charts can be used in Microsoft 365 and Excel for the web. In old Excel versions, you can use the dynamic named ranges for a similar effect. If you like this video, please like and subscribe for more contents like this.